This dog might look like a polar bear, but it's actually a Samoyed. We called our fluff bump Felix and over the last five years we explored the world with him and took him to more than 30 countries. In today's video we will tell you everything about the breed and their funny character. <laughs> Samoids are originally from Siberia and Russia and were used for sledding, herding, hunting, guarding and keeping their owners warm. They are very good at dealing with the cold because their thick double layer coat protects them in these freezing conditions. It's quite obvious that Samoids love winter but they also get along with hotter temperatures. You should never shave a Samoid though because their coat also keeps the heat away. To make sure the fur stays in a good shape, it's necessary to take good care of it. We brush Felix once a week and especially during shedding season, he loses so much fur. It's incredible. Sometimes we are wondering where he takes all that fluff from. Brushing Samoyeds can also help to prevent hair loss in the house. The more we brush Felix, the less hair will fly around. But to be honest, <laughs> with a dog like that, there's basically hair everywhere. In your drink, on your clothes, on the floor, just everywhere. <laughs> For those situations, a good vacuum and a roller like this one can help. But the coolest thing about Samoyed's fur is that it basically cleans itself. Once the dirt gets dry, it will just fall off. That's it. <laughs> Felix might look white to you, but his fur color is actually a bit creamy. So there are different white and beige tones Samoids can have and you will probably only notice it until they are in the snow. <laughs> the size of these dogs can vary quite a bit. So female Samoids are usually a bit smaller than male ones. Felix, for example, weighs 32 kilograms and we were told that's quite big for a Samoid. The fluffy coat makes him look even bigger, but once he's wet, you will see how slim he actually is. So for him, this is the perfect shape. Because these kinds of dogs were used to guard their family and keeping them warm, they love to have people around. So whenever we have guests, Felix is just super happy, says hello to everyone and stays with them until they are gone. Um, being a part of a pack is very important for Samoids. That's why you shouldn't leave them home alone for too long. Felix can stay at home, but after two to three hours he gets very lonely and sad. We often get messages on Instagram from people asking if it's fine to get a Samoid and leave him alone for about eight to ten hours while they are at work. And to be honest, we think that's way too long for this breed. They would probably get depressive. So the best option would be to bring the dog to work in case that's possible. Um, Felix also needs his alone time throughout the day. He's a very independent dog and for a few hours of the day he just goes to a corner and chills over there. A few more things Samoids really like are running long distances in a slow pace. They might not be the fastest dogs, but due to their past of being sled dogs they can run for a very long time. Like most dogs, Samoids also love to sleep and do that for many hours of the day. Whenever they are awake, they love to go for walks but are not crazy active like other Nordic dogs. For us it's fine to go for three medium walks every day and do other mental stimulating activities throughout the day like training or doing tricks or something like that. Let's now talk about some positive and negative character traits most Samoids have. Starting with the negative ones. So Samoids are very stubborn and when I say very I mean extremely stubborn. You will probably only understand that if you get to know a Samoid in person. Life. So for Felix that Life. means that he usually knows what he's supposed to do but he just won't do it. <laughs> this video is a typical scene of him giving a fluff about what we want. Many Samoids bark or hole a lot. We don't really think it's a bad thing, but many people easily get scared or annoyed by that. Felix doesn't hole at all, but he barks quite a lot whenever he meets someone he really likes or when he's happy. Luckily, he only does that outside and not when we are inside. 
Some Samoyeds can also be quite protective when it comes to their owners. This can be annoying in some situations, but whenever I'm out alone with Felix, I feel quite safe because I know he would protect me no matter what will happen. We had some situations in the past where weird people approached me and Felix stepped in front of me, rolled at them and showed them his teeth. And yeah, guess what? They immediately left. <laughs> For us personally, the love for hunting is the worst. Whenever Felix sees a small animal somewhere far away in the distance, he is gone and he won't come back if we call him. That's why we barely unleash him. It's just too dangerous. Next up are the positive character traits of Samoyeds. First of all, they are pretty smart and learn very quickly. Teaching Felix a new trick only takes a few minutes and he knows so many. By now he's definitely a professional when it comes to posing and he really loves to do that. These are some of our favorite photos. It's a great way of exercising as well and important for his mental health. Another thing we love is the excitement for basically everything. I'm not sure if that's a general thing for Samoids, but whenever we ask Felix to join us for crazy adventures, he is up to it. We already took him to amusement parks and traveled to so many different countries by car, by train and once also took a plane. It doesn't really matter where we are, he feels safe everywhere and just sleeps without any problems. Samoids are also very gentle and careful. When we give Felix a treat, for example, he barely touches our fingers with his mouth and he also drinks very carefully. For the next fact, I'm also not sure whether it is a general thing or not, but Felix doesn't drool much and he also doesn't snore or fart. <laughs> the last thing on our list of positive character traits is the patience most Samoids have. In case you also have a Samoid, let us know if you made similar experiences with yours or if he's completely different. In case you're planning to get a Samoyed, here are a few tips for first-time owners. Number one, you won't need a dog bed. Trust me, all Samoids we know refuse them and prefer to sleep on the floor. We wasted so much money already on dog beds. <laughs> also remember to be patient with them. As I mentioned earlier, Samoids are very stubborn and it can be quite challenging in the beginning to learn to handle that. And one more thing, Samoids can be quite picky when it comes to food. Felix, for example, only eats special brands and only at a certain time of the day. Let's end this video with some funny things Felix does that always make us smile. First of all, he loves digging. <laughs> no matter if it's in the snow or at the beach, it's his biggest passion and he could do it for hours. Felix is also very clumsy, never catches a ball and often runs into things. If you want to cuddle him, you have to place yourself on the floor because he won't stay in the bed for more than five minutes. Next up is that he really loves all the doggo ladies. No matter how big or small, young or old they are, he loses his heart to a different one each day. And the best part about it is that most doggo ladies love him too. <laughs> Every morning, Felix loves to talk to what us. What is it? You wanna have some more swambas? Yes? And out of all those things, our favorite one is his cheekiness. <laughs> he loves to steal things like socks and yeah, overall Felix's character is just super funny and he always makes us laugh with his behavior. So that's it for this week's video and from now on we will post regularly and hope to see you again on this channel. We just converted a vintage van and will travel with it and Felix all across the world. Hop in for some fluffy adventures and if you like you can also follow us on our family account where we share more from our travels. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully see you soon. Bye bye! Love you! This is what our sleeping arrangement for our first <laughs> night looks like. Felix ran off. Okay. He's running to the street, yet come! I'm shaking. We can't find him.